Good day vlog. Welcome to my Tanamams. Okay, Bali di ito. It's the reverse. Good day Tanamams. Plantitos and plantitas. Okay, as well as dad, ati, kuya, inang, and tatang. Today is a beautiful day. But before that, I would like to say thank you to my subscribers. And please do not fail to click the subscribe button. So what makes it beautiful today? It is because we have another review on this kind of plant. But before that, okay, please, there are plenty of interruptions now because it is uh, 11.30 and it's San Juan here in our place, Philippines. Okay, so San Juan. But... Uh, Walay ligo ligo, we do not have the spraying of water. It is because of the pandemic. Okay, pandamay nga pandemic. Okay, so what is the family for this uh, review of our plant today? It is this plant belongs to family Marantaceae. So you are now familiar with this uh, plants. You, I know you have this at home, but this plant i have just recently acquired this it was given to me because i was really longing for this kind of plant because of the patterns found at the foliage or the leaf okay so i am going to give you only two distinct characters so that it would be easy for you to uh id this kind of plant okay kindly check the crisscross pattern on the leaves so it has the crease cross pattern on that leaf the second that i am going to tell you is that the crisscross pattern is green a combination of green and yellow green or white and yellow it's up to how it is exposed in the uh, sunlight so why is it crisscross because other than that it is also a mosaic that is why it is uh, crisscross common name for this kind of plant it is known as network prayer plant so you heard me right prayer plant why because of the presence of a uh, pulvinous structure at the bottom of the below the leaf okay between that of the pitule and the leaf there is the pulvinous structure which allows it to uh, close okay in the afternoon okay so when there is no good light okay then it turns this way it prays okay so that is one common name which is net, uh, network prayer plant or network calathea or the other way around calathea uh, network okay and so or uh Calathea mosaic and so how is this network Calathea network prey plant propagated okay below the soil below the soil okay is the presence of rhizomes okay we just divide the rhizomes and situate that okay rhizomes are uh, modified uh, roots so when it is a roots up actually then it can be planted directly into the soil so we just defy that one we just cut as long as there is a presence of situated there is a presence of leaf so that it would be easy to uh, grow okay and uh, another thing uh, I have uh, for the meantime I do not have this my 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 network prayer plant doesn't have any bloom yet okay and what it likes for it likes a uh, filtered sunlight doesn't like uh, direct sunlight why because actually it folds itself I have noticed this that it is going to fold when it is hit by a very uh, uh, hot hot light <laughs> hot sunlight okay and another thing if you noticed okay the leaf are glossy so what is the scientific name for this kind of plant so it belongs to family marantaceae 
genus Calathea, you heard me right, and species Mosaica, or the official name is Jupertia, 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 okay, Kigil Janii. Okay, so I am just going to write the the scientific name below so that okay so there is an official scientific name and there is those the scientific name which is common to us so the official scientific name is Jupercha uh, Kigil Janii and uh, but uh, we call this as Calathea mosaica because of the mosaic pattern at the lip so this mosaic pattern actually is just streaks of green and uh, yellow green so that uh, it looks like that of a network okay and uh, another thing is the shape the margin of the leaf it is actually wavy wavy smooth but wavy or entire but wavy tip it is acute base it's not rounded but still it obtuse okay yeah, that way and another thing okay if you are going to look into the midrib at the back okay you can uh feel the midrib at the back because it moves downward another thing if you are going to divide the leaf into half okay from that of the middle Okay, there is no, the division is not half all the way, all throughout this uh, kind of plant. And if we are going to repot this in a very big uh, pot, obviously the leaves will become bigger. Okay, but for the meantime, since I have placed this in a very flat uh, container, okay, the leaf, leaf is just uh, a half three-fourth of my palm but what makes it beautiful it is because of the patterns on the leaf okay see how beautiful it is and if you are going to uh, to feel the the struck the leaf okay glossy if you are going to look into the upper portion but at the back if you are it is rough it is because if you noticed uh, the veins at the the back side is pinnate so i mean to say it uh, looks like that one but in in between the leaf vein okay there are veinlets which allows the mosaic pattern so meaning to say if this is the vein which is pinnate in nature okay in between that okay there is a veinlet that connects between the two making the pattern of our color which is between that of a green and a yellow green and green actually if i am going to look into the the okay uh, it looks like that of uh it whirls no it whirls whirl whirl whirling yang okay the the crisscrossing so it looks like that one right? from the middle portion of the leaf but actually if you are going to look into the back structure it is very nice see okay and this one it was documented as maranta belia or calathea belia in 1875 by william bull okay so uh it is documented as but now it is it has the official name okay so documentation before 1875 uh, by william bull uh, he called this as maranta bella or calathea bella 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 i don't know okay but the official name is jupercha uh Kil kigil jani i okay but uh we for planters, for tanamams, okay, for plant into uh, into <laughs> chest, okay, they call this as Calathea mosaica because of this kind of uh, patterns at the leaf, rough 
at the underside because of that pattern okay so i am and then if you are going to look into the uh the underside it has the same pattern okay glossy on the upper portion texture at the underside is rough it is because of that uh, veinlets in which the coloration the patterns are there make okay see however i have observed that for juvenile for juvenile leaf it looks like this one darker in color but uh, for the adult it is this one okay see and then it has a, a stem i am going to let you see okay this structure is the pulvinous structure okay pulvinous structure it is actually bigger it bulges so that in the afternoon okay when there is no light it becomes darker then that is the time that it folds because this one is known as our network prayer plant okay stem or pitchul is hard which is directly connected into the rhizomes so this is now our uh, Calathea mosaica or Juporcha kigil janii. See how lovely is the pattern. As of the moment, I cannot share this one because I am going to propagate this more so that I have plenty of propagation pups for this kind of Calathea mosaica. See how beautiful is this one. Okay, and so. Thank you so much. But before that, shout out to Kent and Arjun who are always with me. And I would like to encourage, I have plenty of viewers, but I do not have plenty of subscribers. Anyway, uh, that's it. That's life. Okay. And so, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for viewing. And please do not fail to click the subscribe button for my Scoops channel once again this is our calathea mosaica god bless and stay safe